I wanted to do a little update on this grid tied solar system that I have. We're using the Solar 15K uh, inverted charger of 20 kW of solar grid tied system, probably always will be grid tied. And I've been adding batteries. Now, I just added this one here uh, to round out the four, and let's see, that is uh, 46 kW of usable battery storage. What my, my issue has been here lately is I am producing a lot of kilowatts, especially in the summer, uh, spring and fall some too, I produce a lot of kilowatts. Those go into a bank that my utility gives me like for like, meaning if I uh, store one kilowatt, that is put it in the grid system, then I get a kilowatt back, credit for a kilowatt back uh, when I need it. Now normally I would need these at night. I would need uh, some kilowatts to go over the night because there's no solar during night. Uh, this is kind of a backup for power failures or anything like that. Uh, don't have a lot of power failures here, but uh, it's there and I, you know, I'm, I'm wanting to put these batteries in. I'm anticipating that the utility is going to change and they're going to uh, pay me not like for like on kilowatts, they're going to uh, credit me the wholesale price. Now they haven't done this yet and they haven't even talked about it, but they probably will be doing that pretty soon. We pay them in cents a kilowatt hour. Uh, I would probably get two to three cents uh, as a wholesale price. So I'm kind of preparing for that. Well, the situation right now is I'm losing now let's see, I lost last year, what did I lose? Uh, 5,000 kilowatts. I revert to zero every March. And I had 5,000 kilowatts left in the bank after winter. Now, I should say this is in Eastern Washington State. Uh, we have winters here. Winters tend to be rather <laughs> uh, cloudy. I think the last three weeks I've had two or three days of real sun. We do have a sunny day today, which is, it's a little bit filtered, but uh, we have a sunny day today, and we're going to produce about 50 to 60 kilowatts uh, of power from the sun. Anyway, I am having to give back that 5,000 kilowatts every March. Now, it was 4,000 the year before, but I had a little less uh, uh, solar panels. I wanted to put in a heat pump, but there's been some problems with putting in a heat pump. Uh, I'm not sure I can get the uh, uh, the solar discount from the feds because they haven't approved all the the, the uh, heat pumps. So what I've done is I have put in a duct heater. Now a duct heater is just something you put in your duct work that uh, it could be gas fired, it could be uh, electric fired, this one is electric. And I'm using that as my primary heat throughout this winter. What I'm trying to do is reduce uh, the amount of kilowatts I give back at the end of the year. This house is normally heated by natural gas. Uh, I can eliminate the natural gas by using that duct heater. And uh, that's about, 600, let's see, 651 dollars last year to heat this house. That's up quite a bit because natural gas has about doubled in the last couple of years. Uh, I'm saying I'm going to go ahead and eliminate that if I can and reduce how many kilowatts I have left over. Okay, last year I didn't really have hardly any batteries most of the year. I've got batteries this year, and that increases the amount that goes in my bank by quite a bit. Let's take a comparison. Uh, last year, 
at this time I had 7,397 kilowatts in the bank. Now, November, we're at 1st of December right now. November is the first month where I don't produce as much as I use. Through October, I pretty much produce more power, more kilowatts from solar than I actually use. Last year, it was 7,397 kilowatts at this time of year. And uh, this year, it's 11,062. That's what the difference of batteries have made because I'm not using that nighttime where I'm getting power from the grid at the night. A lot of times it goes through the entire night, not in the winter, but it goes through the entire night and does not deplete the batteries. Uh, in the winter it does because I'm using the, the duct heater now and that's taking a lot more. This year I had 1,100, uh, 11,062 kilowatts, so that means by the end, by March, when I give it back, if I did not put the duct heater in, I would probably have probably about 7,000 kilowatts that I would give back. Okay, so I'm going to try to get rid of most of that $651 I pay on gas, and then I don't burn gas and create CO2. It's a cheap way for me to do this because I don't have a heat pump yet. So I will talk to you again in the spring and see what I come up with. I've done all the numbers I could think of on it and it looks like I'm gonna have somewhat left over. I may have still another three or 4,000 kilowatts left over in March, we'll see. I hope you understand the kind of things I'm talking about here. Maybe I'm not the best at, at uh, getting this across, but this is what I'm trying to do. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll answer them as best I can. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to let you know where we're at with this system. I don't think I'm gonna add any more batteries for a while. Uh, we may be losing the 30% uh, the off here pretty soon anyway. So. I may be <laughs> done, but this is what I've got now, and like I said, I hope this makes sense, and that's it on this one.